What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the last starter that I still have to showcase. It is going to be a Quack Ball team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, get on top of that. Click that bigger subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet content. We upload here every day, so you guys do not want to miss out. But uh, right here, we're rocking out with Quaquaval, and this Pokemon is looking amazing, especially with its hidden ability, Moxie. I just feel like this Pokemon can be OP once you get them all, because with its signature move, Aqua Step, at the end of every single time using that, you're gonna get a speed boost. So if you can pick up a kill with that move, you're gonna get a speed boost and an attack boost, basically a free Dragon Dance, and you are just setting up this Pokemon for victory. So I cannot wait to use it and showcase it to its fullest potential. But with that out of the way, we can get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Colossal. It was such a strong Pokemon in Sword and Shield Generation 8. I feel like it's gonna be decent here, but not too OP. It's got Steam Engine, it's got Weakness Policy as its item, it's so rocking Protect, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Power Gem as its move set. Second Pokemon is going to be that Quack Quo Ball. Really cool Pokemon. Fighting and water type. I really do like that typing. I feel like the only other water and fighting type I can think of is Pyrath, but this one definitely puts it out the water with its moveset and its uh, stats. It's got Moxie as its ability, which I think is insanely strong. Focus Sash as item, and then it's got Aqua Jet for first turn priority and for proc that Steam Engine and Weakness Policy over on that Colossal. It's got Aqua Set, which is its signature move, close combat for stab, and then protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner, or not bottom left hand corner, middle left is going to be Amoongus right here. And Amoongus is going to be insanely good in, I feel like, the whole the whole meta for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet from start to end. This Pokemon is just going to be insanely good because it is such a good support Pokemon. It's got Regenerator as its ability, Rockin' the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got support to put Pokemon to sleep, Rage Powder to protect the ally Pokemon, Giga Drain, and Clear Smog for its final two moves. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Hands. And Iron Hands is looking really, really good. And its stats kind of resemble Hariyama. Pretty bulky, can hit like a truck. But on top of that, it learns Fake Out, which is a top tier move in doubles. This Pokemon's ability is going to be Quirk Drive. We gave it the Salt Vest to make it a bit more bulkier. And then we got Fake Out, Thunder Punch, Close Combat, and Rock Slide for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Grimmsnarl. And from day one, I said this Pokemon is going to be insanely broken. I wouldn't say broken, but insanely top tier as a support mon in this game. It's got Prankster, it's got Light Clay, Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Thunder Wave. You cannot go wrong with that moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be everyone's favorite. It's going to be Roaring Moon. Such a cool Pokemon. I, I love its design, but on top of that, I love its stats. It is super strong, especially with that Protosynthesis and Boosted Energy as its item and ability. It's got Dragon Call and Throat Chop for its two stat moves, Protect and Acrobatics for its finals too. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that doubles ladder. Look to get some wins with this Quack Cobalt team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a really strong team that I've been seeing all across the doubles ladder. This guy's rocking Shen Pao, Dragonite, Amoongus, Fluttermane, Roaring Moon, and Arcanine. So he can intimidate us right off the rip. Kind of want to lead a special attacker, but I have a bunch of physical attackers. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So I could go in with Grimstarl. Grimstarl is not too bad here. Or I can go in with my Iron Hands. He's definitely lead to Arcanine. Like we know Arcanine is going to come in here as a lead. So I kind of just will take the Intimidate for the Quackle Ball and kind of roll off from there. Could go Iron Hands. Could go Grimstarl. I'm kind of leaning towards Grimstarl just because we have Spirit Break. We can set up screens on top of that. It could just be great all around. So I'm going to go Grimstarl here. And then I am going to roll out with Iron Hands and possibly Roaring Moon. Yeah, right? I think like that's our best bet. Going with the Quackle Ball. Going with the Grim Snarl, set up some screens, and try to get rolling out from there. But seriously, guys, huge shout out to everybody who has been viewing my videos, subscribers to the channel, and just liking up the videos, and leaving comments. You guys are the real ones. Thank you guys so much for the support. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the content. It's really helped me grow as a content creator. And again, you guys are awesome. You guys are definitely awesome. But I am taking viewer rental teams. So if you guys want to get me your rental teams, either leave them in the comment section down below, or even better, tweet at me on Twitter or DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below for that link. It is Gene YouTube over on Twitter. Because I would love to get my hands on your guys' rental teams and use them for videos. Because I absolutely love using viewer teams and testing them out, trying them out, giving you guys my thoughts and all that. It's just a lot of fun. It is definitely a lot of fun. But let's see who our opponent leads here. This seems going to be tough. We know the Dragonite. I believe the Dragonite can terrestrialize into normal and pop an extreme speed. He's going to go with the Shen Pao. Shen Pao's going to be mad at me. He's going to rock out with the Shen Pao. Uh, Shen Pao's rocking Sucker Punch. What else is, does it rock? Rock Sucker Punch. Well, I could drop Pop a Close Combat, which I think I'm going to do. And the Roaring Moon instead, right? Do I slow down somebody? 
Do I slow down some? I think I'd rather take out the Shen Pao, right? I think I would rather take out the Shen Pao at this point. But Shen Pao could Sucker Punch. It does have Ice Spinner too, but I feel like we just go after Roaring Moon. I feel like we just go straight after this Roaring Moon. I could slow it down as well, but let me see Quack Quaval's speed. But I do have a Roaring Moon on myself, and we can see his, uh, its stats too. So it is fully boosted on speed, and that is going to be 188. Quack Quaval, what's your speed? 150, so he's definitely going to outspeed us. So at this point, I I feel like we should double down on Roaring Moon. I feel like we should double down, slow it down. Actually, it's Dark Type. I'm going to go after the Shen Pao at this point. They're both Dark Type. This sucks. I'm just going to close combat. And I'm just going to set up a Reflect here. They're both Dark Type. Good thing I caught on to that. Good thing I caught on to that. Both Dark Type Pokemon. It would have been a pain if I would have went for a Prankster move onto one of them. So I'm just going to set up Reflect. We're going to roll off from there. And he's going to Terrasilize here and change into Straight Dark. What typing going? Iron. Okay, I'm fine with Iron. I'm fine with Iron. So he switches to Iron. So if you, you can go after my Grimstone as long as I get off this Reflect. And he protects that. Okay, good thing I'm going after Rolling Moon. I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Reflect is set up. We love it. That is beautiful. That is huge. And he's going to go for an Iron. Probably in the Grimstone, right? You got to go in the Grimstone at this point. Yeah, right in the Grimstone. And we survive. Thank you, Reflect. We can set up another screen if we want to. But more importantly, we're going to drop a close combat here and get rid of Rolling Moon. And on top of that, we still have Focus Ash and Moxie's going to get boosted. Moxie is getting boosted, so we're going to go plus one on attack. I wish I would have been able to KO with Aqua Step because we would have got plus one on speed. But hey, that's strong as well. That's really strong as well. Oh, Shen Pao is a pain, dude. That Pokemon's OP. He is so OP. And he's just, and his design, it's gorgeous. That thing is amazing. One of the coolest legendaries I've seen. Sabertooth Tiger with swords as teeth. That is insane. And then he has like little ice crystals all throughout his body. I just think he looks absolutely amazing. He looks so cool. Is this Sabertooth Tiger or is it? It looks like a leopard slash Sabertooth Tiger. He's going to end up going into Amoongus here. And Amoongus kind of tough here because he can just Rage Powder out. Um, hmm. What should I do here? I could Aqua Step for the speed boost. I would like to close combat, to be honest with you guys. I could just close combat. I could set up a late screen. What other Pokemon does he have? I can check his Pokemon here. Does he have any physical attackers? Dragonite. I mean, we already set up the Reflect. Does he have any special attackers? Fluttermane, possibly? Right? I don't, I don't really think we need a Light Chain. I think Reflect will be fine with. I think I'm just going to start Spirit Breaking. Kind of getting after this Pokemon. He's just going to Sacred Sword me. That's going to take me out. Wow, I could have just close combat that Shen Pao. Which I probably should have. That was a dumb play by me. He's going to put me to sleep, though. Close combat. Oh, I did. I did close combat the Shen Pao. This thing's Sash. That kind of hurts the soul. This thing is going to end up being Sash. And he's going to put me to sleep, right? You put me to sleep, kind sir. Kind of, Moongus. Oh, he's going to clear smog me. I'm all about that clear smog coming out here. He's going to take my stats away. That's fine. There goes my attack boost. But more importantly, I can rock into Iron Hands here. Or I can go into Roaring Moon. I think I think we should save a Roaring Moon. I think we should go into Iron Hands and try to... Uh, try to get after his battle. So obviously, I think he's going to protect the Shen Pao, right? I feel like he has to protect the Shen Pao. I feel like he has to protect the Shen Pao. So I'm going to get a speed boost here. And I'm just going to fake out this thing, right? Yeah. I feel like he has to protect the Shen Pao. This should be an easy protect read, right? Show me he's protecting the Shen Pao. Show me that you're protecting that lovely little Shen Pao. Let's see what happens here. He withdraws the Shen Pao. That's fine, too. The solid turn from us, we're just going to, to fake out. We're going to get an Aqua Step in here. Even though it's not very effective, we are going to get that out. Uh, that What's it called? We are going to get that speed boost. That speed boost is going to be pretty solid for us. And he protects a moon. That's a solid turn. That's actually a solid turn now that he protects the moon. Is. But he gets off Intimidate. I would love to swap out here. I would absolutely love to swap out. That Intimidate is doing me real dirty. Aqua Step coming in here. It's going to get blocked. And we're just going to move on to the next turn. The solid turn from our opponent there. He has to fake out Raider Roll. I could swap my Iron Hands this turn, which wouldn't be bad. Swapping him into Roaring Moon. I don't like that. I don't like that, but I'm just going to go into an Aqua Step here. And do I go after him? Hmm. So if I do have my Thrash type, which I do not want to Thrash Lies. Uh, I guess we'll drop a Rock Slide if we can. 
Let's see what he does here. We can go for an extreme speed. We should be able to soak. Yeah, we soaked that all day. Aquaception coming hot here. Do some nice damage over on him. Get a speed boost on top of that. And we're going to start rolling. We're going to start rolling. Speed boost, which is lovely. Extreme speed can do some mean damage to us. Rockside's going to pop here as well. Can we get a flinch on the Moogus? Give me a flinch on the Moogus. We do get the flinch. So that's a big time flinch. So now that we have speed, uh, Aqua Step's still our play, right? Yeah, we're going to go for Aqua Step. And on top of this, I'm just going to swap it to my Roaring Moon at this point. I'm going to swap it to my Roaring Moon just so I have my Fake Out later in the match. It could work really well. But yo, this is a solid battle. I love a good old battle like this. And I knew this battle was going to be really close once I saw this dude's team. Because I feel like this team right here is like top tier right now in the game. Everybody's using it. Everyone's going strong with it. But we're playing really good up against it. That's one of my favorite things to do is beat top tier teams with teams that people aren't really using. So we swap our Iron Hands slash Hariyama. And we're going to bring out our Salamence. Lovely little Roaring Moon. I wish our names were still like Salamence and all that. We're going to pop our Booster Energy. Which is really good. I might Terras here. My Terrasalize. Aqua Steps can come out here. Does that KO? Please tell me KOs. It does KO. That's a big time KO because we get Moxie. We get our attack boost back and our plus two on speed. This is solid and we can't be intimidated. Let's see what he does from here. There's a nice lovely Moxie boost. Did he put me to sleep yet? I'm just going to clear smog me again. So he keeps messing with my stats. I keep boosting my stats. He keeps taking them away. Kind of annoying, but I feel like we're sitting in a beautiful spot here. We have Aqua Jet to take out the Shen Pao. We have Acrobats to take out the Amoongus. I think we're sitting in a good spot. Defense is dropped. Defense is dropped, but I have to go for this Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet has to come out here. Not Aqua Step, Aqua Jet. We need that first turn priority. So I'm going to Aqua Jet there. I'm just going to drop an Acrobats. I could Terrasalize here. Ooh, I do Terrasalize into Flying, which I really want to do. I did not know that this thing's Thrash type was Flying. So that's huge. That's huge. But what is that camera angle? You guys see that? <laughs> You can see, like, the rafters in the roof. Like, what? <laughs> or the little, uh, what is that? The cloth hanging across? That was weird, but we're gonna Terras into a lovely little flying type. Ice type will still be super effective to us, but I feel like if we just go here, we should be fine. He's gonna Rage Powder. My boy outspeed. I can't even see my team. Aqua Jack coming in hot here. What's he going with with the Shen Pao? Sacred Sword. That's fine. We changed into flying type, which is enormous. And we're gonna be able to drop this Acrobats, which should be able to KO. What is this camera angle? They need to fix that. <laughs> Amoongus drops out of here, and that's pretty much going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. What a first battle for today's video. You guys got to love it. Solid, solid first battle. Solid first battle. Outplaying our opponent, getting out the Quackwo Ball, and that thing's staying out here the whole battle. So we're fully showcasing this Pokemon. I'm going to drop an Aqua Jet and uh, Acrobats, but he cancels the battle, and we start off 1-0. Quackle Ball put on a show in battle number one. Absolutely loving this Pokemon. Cannot wait to use him in battle number two and in battle number three. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Meowskirana team. Gotta watch out for that one because, you know, we have Quackle Ball. But uh, he has also Slacking, which I'm not too worried about with the Truon. It's a strong Pokemon that hits hard, but its ability is kind of easy to just dodge around. He also has the Raichu, which might be a lead for him. And then he has the Garchomp, Azumarill, which has Belly Drum, and then the Guard of War. How should we play this one? Do we go into Iron Hands maybe as a lead? I think Iron Hands could be strong with a fake out. We could roll out with him and we could go with Iron or Roaring Moon. We could go Ancient and Future Pokemon right off the rip, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I like it. I like it. I'm going to lead both of those Pokemon. I am going to bring Quackleball in the back end and then final Pokemon that we go Amoongus or Colossal. I'm kind of like an Amoongus for support. It's not too bad in this situation. It could spore up some Pokemon and super effective onto the Gardevoir and the Azumarill. And plus, support is just unmatched. And it has Rocky Helmet up against a few of its physical attackers. So I'm all about it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yo, that first battle was awesome. That's what I've been loving about Scarlet and Violet is battles like that. Like when you play Sword and Shield, the battles were like hyper offensive because you have Dynamax. You have all the legendaries that were in the game. It was just super hyper offensive. So the battles were quick. You just like attack, attack, attack. But in this game, it's kind of just like back to normal battles. Got to make some cool plays. Got to make some good moves. Kind of a lot from there. But... We're going to have our Roaring Moon right here. And I feel like we have to Thrasalize him. We have to get off that Dragon Typing right now. But yeah, I'm going to get off of that Dragon Typing. I am going to... I'm not going to fake out here. Azumarill? I feel like Azumarill's got to be faked out, right? Makes some more sense. Or Gardevoir. Tough turns here. I'm going to fake out the Gardevoir. I'm going to Thrasalize here. I'm going to go into an Acrobat. And I'm going to go after Azumarill. Just in case it's like a belly drum Azumarill that I really don't feel like dealing with. 
If I'm going to thrash, I'm going to get off of this typing. Just cannot be this typing. And this typing really does... The, the fairies up against my fighting and my uh, dragon types really does me dirty. It really does do me dirty, but... I'd rather Dynamax the Roaring Moon at this point. So, I'm going to fake out here. Mwah. Give it some nice damage over on that guard board. Acrobat's going to fly. How much damage are we doing? Roaring Moon can hit hard. His attack's heightened. Some big time damage. We like that damage. We get the flinch on the guard war, and this thing's just gonna go for a disarming voice. Kind of scaring me, but we eat. We eat like it's nothing. Eat like it's nothing. From here, I just feel like we thunder punch into this thing. And actually, I think Rock Side would be a bit better. Because we know Rock Side would take out the uh, the Zoomerel. Just in case the Acrobats does not take out here. Actually, what would do more damage? Hmm. Pokemon's not holding up. Oh, no. Throw Chop's gonna do more damage. Throw Chop's gonna do more damage over on the Guard War. He's gonna withdraw the Azumarill. We are dropping a rock, so hopefully he goes through a Pokemon that we can just shred with rocks. And he's gonna send out Raichu, please? No, Guard Chop. Not bad. Not a bad play. Good thing I went for rocks instead of a uh, Thunder Punch. But Throw Chop comes out here. We get rid of that Pokemon right away. And Rocks is gonna drop on this Pokemon. This battle's looking real good for us. We're looking real good right now. So we know he has Azumarill on the back end. I'm not worried about that. I have Quackle Ball with Aqua Jet chilling. So, this is the last Pokemon. It's going to be Meowth Karata. Not worried about it. GG's. <laughs> Pretty much GG's, right? I'm going to close combat into this slot. And I'm just going to Acrobat here. How to get rid of this Pokemon. This GG's? This, this battle's looking money. It's looking like a clean sweep in battle number two. Looking like it. I'm not saying it is. Not yet. But it's looking like it. I believe he's going to Terrasse here. Yeah. The Terrasse Lies coming out here. Let's see who he's changing. Probably the Meowth Karata. Yeah. Is he going straight grass? What, what are you rocking with? Oh, oh you're you gone. You gone. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance against my flying terrasse roaring moon. Acrobats. Yo, me ask you do me a favor. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Get that thing on out my game. See you later. Waste your terrasse right there. This one's an easy battle for us. This one's a really easy battle for us. This one's clean sweeping. We're clean sweeping. Gonna go for the rock tomb. Oh, almost took me out. Those combat should be able to do enough damage here. Let's see. This thing hits pretty hard. Yeah. And we get a crit on top of that. Hey, I can't help RNG. I can't help it, but yo. Clean sleep in battle number uh, two. All we have left is a zoom rail. And my rolling moon outspeeds it. And even if he wants to go for an aqua jet, I can soak that up. I can soak it up all day. But what a, what a quick second battle. Quick and easy for you guys. Showing the power of the future in ancient Pokemon. Like I said in my first ever... Uh, in my first ever video for Scarlet and Violet, I said the ancient forms and the uh, and the future forms are going to be OP. So I feel like they're going to get banned very, very soon. Or at least when ranked battles start to come out. The first battle went perfect. Second battle was a clean sweep by your boy. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. Going up against a mirror matchup, we both have Quack Quaval. And I feel like leading the Quack Quaval classic combo. Like we haven't showcased that yet. We can roll out strong with that. And then just bring in the Iron Hands and Warren Moon in the back end. Seems pretty simple. Seems pretty straightforward. But seems like it's going to get the job done. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Quick pick our Pokemon. And... I, I hope hopefully we can grab ourselves this perfect record because first battle was money. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was just like a great battle from both ends of the uh from both teams. And the second battle was just me dominating. And then the third and final battle. Hopefully we, we have a solid battle here. I would love to have a solid battle that we win. But he's gonna end up leading Cloud Sire alongside with Intimidate Star Raptor. Is it Intimidate? It's gotta be, yeah. So Intimidate's gonna come out here. That's actually fine. That's actually fine because that will make my Aqua Jet do a little bit less damage. And then I could just pop Earth Power is super effective on that. Um, I think I'd rather just Power Gem and get rid of that thing, right? What's my Terrasse type with this Pokemon? It is Fire. Um, hmm. Actually, I'd rather get rid of the Cloud Sire. I'd rather just get rid of the Cloud Sire. So, you know, what? I'm going to go after Cloud Sire. I am just going to Aqua Jet. Into this thing. It's going to be my play. I'm going to Aqua Jet here. Pop my Steam Engine. Trigger my weakness policy here. We're gonna go plus one on attack board. And I'm gonna drop an earth power here. Actually, oh, we're special attacking. This is plus two. This should KO. Oh, it doesn't. No way. Don't do me like that. So I'm just gonna fly and dip out here. Cloud Sire, what are you doing? This thing's so bulky. Gunk shot. Going after Quackle Ball, please. Okay, cool. I believe this thing learns water absorb. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it learns water absorb. I really think it learns water absorb. 
I don't want to look it up, but I'm just going to protect Colossal at this point if you're flying. I might double protect here. I am going to do. I'm going to double protect. So I would love to Aqua Step into that thing, but I believe it learns like Water Absorb or something along those lines. So I'm just going to double protect, dodge these moves, and then Power Gem that uh, Star Raptor next turn. Yeah, it's just a simple play. Fly is probably going after Quack Will Ball. Yeah. And then Cloud Tire is probably dropping a move into my... Oh, he's going to Toxic Spike me. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. So for me, our Power Gem is probably your play, right? Yeah, we're going to Power Gem that. And then I got a close combat this thing. Because again, I think that this Pokemon has like Water Absorb or something. The so Power Gem flying here. Taking out Star Raptor, no problem. Aqua Ball is going to come out here, drop his defense, but on top of that, get an attack boost. It's going to be really lovely for us. Let's combat drop him. We'll say bye bye to you. I'm not using a water move. I could be, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could just be overthinking, but I'm almost positive this Pokemon has like water absorb or just storm drain, like something along those lines. Actually, I'm going to look it up now that I got him out the way. Now that I got him out the way, I can, I can fairly look this up. So Claude, Sire, go on the, the internet and we'll see its abilities. It does learn water absorb. It has unaware, poison point, and water absorb. So, ooh, yo. So, that was a good call, but I said ooh because of this Ampharos right here. Ampharos is chilling, looking mighty cool. Um, he could go for an Aqua Jet. We should be able to eat up an Aqua Jet. I am just going to Earth Power this thing. Try to get rid of that. And then... Do I Aqua Jet? Aqua Step? Mm, close Combat? I feel like Close Combat's are playing right in the Quackle Ball. Let's see. Earth Power flies. Bink. See you later. And dude, are we going to get back-to-back -back sweeps with this Quackle Ball team? It's looking good for us. It's looking real good. It's real spicy. Close combat coming in here. Not KO. Oh, he might take away our sweep. He's going to Aqua Step me. He's going to take away my sweep. Leave me alone. <laughs> he gets rid of my sweep, man. I really wanted that one. I really wanted that one. But yo, we're dominating right here. We're dominating in today's video. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely sight. It's a lovely side, but yo, Quackle Ball is so easy to use, too. So if you guys want an easy, easy team to use on the rank ladder, or casual ladder at this point, but rank comes out in, how long? Like, three days? It comes out in? Get this team right here. Super easy to use. Super fun, too. It has a bunch of cool Pokemon, a lot of different uh, synergies, but Quackle Ball, like I said, just very simple to use. You're either Aqua Stepping, Aqua Jetting, or Close Combating. You can protect if need be. He's just a simple, strong Pokemon all around. But we're going to throw out our final Pokemon. It's going to be Iron Hands. We're going to fake out the Quack Vival, And then on top of that, we're just going to drop a close combat and say GG's. And say GG's. So there goes the fake out. And fake out just KOs. Iron Hands hits like a truck. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. and oh. You guys got to love it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. and oh, Another perfect record for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Double Battles. We got to showcase Quack Ball today. And again, this Pokemon is super strong, super easy to use, and just great stats all around. You got the Moxie paired up with the Aqua Step. It's just GG's once you start getting that rolling. But you also have the Colossal combo with that, which we got to show off. You got the Iron Hands, the Roaring Moon on this team. Then the two support Pokemon, Amoongus and Grimmsnarl. You really cannot go wrong with this team. Just great all around control great Pokemon here. You can set up the screens. You can just go with the Spores with the Sleep, or you can just go Hyper Offensive with the Colossal Quackle Ball, Iron Hands, and more Moon. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.